right, you've probably got unrealistic expectations and those expectations that you've got probably through social media, seeing people's profit shots and these lifestyle pictures that are probably fake are affecting how you're trading. Trading is hard, trading is a um, longer term game of probability and uh, having a financial edge. And if you're currently feeling um, emotions when you trade, it will be tied down to them that expectation that you've got that is false ultimately. So what I wanted to share with you now is something that I call the expectation cycle and it works both ways. So let me get into it because it breaks down into three areas. So it starts with expectations. So if you are somebody that has deposited a thousand pounds into a trading account and you're hoping, that's probably the best word to use, to double that, triple that in a month, then that's very unrealistic and not a sustainable way to trade. If you did it in month one, great, but in month two you probably lose a lot. So that is not the longer term view with trading. So because you've got unrealistic expectations, what that then means is your risk management also becomes unrealistic because in order to achieve them gains, you are not risking a sensible amount of money at all. You will be trading far too high a lot size instead of trading let's say 0.01 to 0.05 dependent upon your lot size you'll probably be trading 0.2 0.3 0.5 or whatever so because this is too aggressive and not sustainable what that then means is your emotions and your trading psychology are completely affected by this so you will be constantly checking checking your trades you'll be in fear of that open position and that profit disappearing, which then means you'll be closing them trades too early. Um, and through fear also of having losers running, you will fool yourself into thinking that that trade's gonna turn back round and you won't want to take that loss. So very quickly, this money going back to being happy or sad is gonna fluctuate in a big way. Um, so this vicious circle is going to continue whilst these expectations are unrealistic. So the reverse way to engineer this is to start here um, and to think, how do you want to feel when you're trading? Yes, it's okay to say, I'm happy to risk 1% a trade, 2% a trade or whatever, but you've got to think in terms of money. So if you started with a thousand pounds account, how much at any one time are you happy to risk? It might be, actually, I'm only comfortable with risking 10 pounds at any one time. That's fine, it'll be different to everybody because everybody's got a different association to the money at that time. So let's say your maximum risk at any one time is 10 pounds. How do you feel about that? I'm pretty sure you're gonna feel calm, less worried, um, less in fear of that trade losing or um, the profit disappearing. Just basically, you're gonna be more calm and in control of your emotions. So put a figure to that. It might be that you only trade one pair, um, but the fact is at any one time, set your level of financial risk. So you can go about your day and not have your trading overtake your mood um, and how your day pans out ultimately. That in turn feeds into your risk management. So if you're risking 10 pound per trade and you know the stop loss level, that will give you a lot size that is more 0.01, 0.05 or whatever, Mr. Not there, as opposed to this and sustainable way of trading. That then feeds back into your expectation and result, which will not give you the massive peaks and troughs in your PL, but a more steady equity curve and account gain. So two, two takeaway points from this. One is what are your expectations? Are they realistic or not? Are you just trying to get rich in a week or a month or whatever? If that's the case, you are gonna be trapped in this vicious circle of incorrect risk management and emotions that affect your day and affect your life in a negative way. And you'll end up blowing this 1,000 pounds account, then we know what's gonna happen next. You're gonna to have to either borrow money or put more money back in and then you're gonna chase that money that you've already lost and then this whole thing continues to happen. So what I'm saying to do is start here. Think about how you want to feel when you trade. What are you truly really comfortable in risking 
as you go about your day. And then you can see trading as a vehicle and not something that's gonna control you. And then that in turn brings you back to having realistic expectations about what you're looking to get out. That's it, thanks for watching.